Chris here from Dirk Gear Australia. Just thought I'd give you a short video on where we're up to on stage two of the Dodge Ram 1500 Laramie. Um, so you might have seen in stage one that we've done, um, uh, you know, a two and a half inch lift, 35 inch tires, the max coverage flares, the torqued exhaust, the eye drive. We've debadged it, we've paint coated it and done a few other things. Now look, don't get me wrong, I love the look of the stock standard Dodge Ram 1500s, you know, the, the Laramies, the Express Wagons, the Warlocks, how cool is those TRXs out there at the moment, wouldn't you love one of those things? But, you know, wireless we might love those sort of things, there's always a bit of room for tweaking. So these modifications that I've done mightn't be for everyone, I understand that, it mightn't suit everyone's cup of tea, however, some one or two of them might strike a chord with you and that's what you're trying to do you want to modify it a little bit more or a little bit less so i'll give you a bit of a run through so what kid from the 80s wouldn't want a kit light on their truck okay so i've gone with the off-road bull bar absolutely fantastic bull bar you know really easy to put together really easy to install if i can put it on anyone can put it on um, super strong I mean when you're looking at putting this together you can see how strong it is and how it's going to support a really good winch and all the rest of it I've also done a little bit more bling but some of the other mods that I've done is probably under the bonnet so you might have been out there on YouTube land googling around about the uh, v6 eco radiate electric radiator fan upgrade that you can do on these so it removes the one that's mounted to the engine it's meant to give you a little bit more horsepower and all the rest of it uh, thank you to a member out there that was really good enough to give me the right codes for the thermostat um, that goes on the radiator obviously and mate keeps the truck perfectly cool and warm and does its job exactly that I've had no heating problems since I've done that can I really notice the power difference no but I'm sure it's there uh, one of the other things that I've done under the bonnet is uh, oil catch can and uh, from all the reading and everything else like that probably should be done and really sort of looks after your motor and keeps it a little bit cleaner instead of sending all that oil back through there. So some of the other modifications that I've done is on the inside of the truck. I've gone with a kick-ass inverter. I think that's a 700 watt inverter. Mounted it in there underneath the, the seat. Uh, on the Laramie, we've got a few more little holes there. I've got the DC to DC inverter and I run a lithium ion battery in the boot. And in the back, I've mounted the lithium ion battery. So look, I just couldn't work out how to do this or the best way to do it. So I just grabbed an old toolbox, threw it in the back there, mounted everything inside there to keep it sort of secure from the weather and a little bit out of sight. So happy to hear any ideas or anyone's got on how I could better mount that. Okay, so in the Laramie, we've got a, a little bit of chrome and some of that fantastic looking uh, wood grain, everything else, but I've gone for a little bit of carbon fibre, some red dials, you might even notice the little Mopar emblem there, I've gone for a bit of carbon fibre around there, and these sort of things just clip straight over your, your existing side of things, a bit of double sided tape that haven't fallen off yet on all the dirt corrugations and all the rest of it, and as I mentioned earlier, I can turn around and access my inverter with that control panel there that's hidden. And those of us who have got a sunroof found this fantastic little Aussie flag. Notice that a lot of the US trucks have got the US flags on them. Didn't see any Australian flags on the US trucks, but found a great little Aussie flag there. So there you go. That's where we're up to with stage two and all the modifications on the Dodge Ram 1500. Um, it's actually, the truck's on the truck to Queensland uh, because those Queenslanders don't want us New South Wales people to drive up there go say good day um, for some fantastic new upgrades I can't wait to get online and show you how those go hey I feel really sorry for you guys and girls down in Victoria and Melbourne hope that all sort of gets sorted out very quickly for you look stay tuned hit the like subscribe button and uh, look forward to the new modifications coming up on the Dodge Ram 1500 thanks very much